it's Brian and we're doing another garage video but it's not going to be about the garage workshop conversion it's going to be about something that goes in the workshop but first if you enjoy my video please remember to like it and subscribe to my channel check out my playlist that's how I organize the different things that I'm working on and thanks for watching if you have any comments please leave them below and uh, I'll get to them as long as they're not obscene obnoxious or uh, inappropriate they'll get posted so what I've got here is something that goes with these presses it is an Anderson and Vreeland Orbital X exposure unit and washout unit I'm really excited about it I scored it on eBay I actually picked it up for $620 I had to pay about $300 to have it shipped in it took what felt like forever to ship it in but the seller did a great job of palletizing it for me. And one thing I want to point out, I asked the seller to lift it up so that the wheels underneath here wouldn't get jacked up. So anyway, let's get it out. It's really grungy, but that's okay because these are usually really, really expensive. It just is what it is. I wonder if it's full of water. That would be stupid. It's a little bit rough on the edges, but that's okay. Um, I expect it to do a little bit of TLC. It's really rough, but that's okay. I mean, it's going to do what I need it to do, which is image and wash out. I expect to actually put some money into this because it's pretty scrungy. You'll see. So many. I have so, so many of these straps that this one is not going to live. So the fun part is getting it out of here. And it's probably not as bad as it looks. Use decent screws, but I'm not going to reuse them. nice looking lumber. I don't see this kind of lumber down here in Texas very often. This came from Virginia, so uh, this has a oh yeah, this is actually cheap lumber. But that's okay. Mm. Wow, that's nasty. I mean, just super nasty and full of water. Why in the hell? 
That's okay, we'll figure it out. And I mean super nasty. So, What we gotta do is get it up. So, um, let me go find a 4x4. Four four. Oh, it even came with a thermometer. How convenient. So that will let us bring it forward. So what I'm going to do is raise this up and use it as a catch. That's good. Now, I have a friend who could help me with this, but I don't think I need help. It's only 400 pounds. Super heavy, super well made. Unfortunately, my uh, power pack has discovered that it wants to be really rolling. Not really a big deal. salvageable and get rid of what's not.
Duloc. Alright, so let's start the tour of horrors. So it was advertised in rough condition, so I'm not really mad about anything. Wow, that's dirty nasty. Really dirty nasty. And there's no telling when it was made. It needs some TLC. And it desperately needs to be cleaned. This is probably the filthiest unit I've ever seen. But we will get through it eventually. We will get it cleaned up and get it back to uh, functioning. Yeah, it's nasty, nasty, nasty. But I'm excited to have it. Uh, those need to be replaced. Warming shelves for drying. I mean, everything's here. I mean, this is even functional. So, you know, it's not really a big deal that black lights are in are loose. Um, none of them are broken, so that's actually a really good sign. And um, once we get it powered up, we can start to try and clean it up. And wow, this is just disgusting. Um, these brushes are shot. I, I, and again, I expected, I expected to put some money into this um, and to have my hands full cleaning it up. So. I don't know what's going on with it. This is unusually nasty, but we'll get it done. So, uh, in the meanwhile, we're going to roll it into the corner where it's going to live, and we'll deal with it in depth at a later point. So this is probably where it's going to go, and then there'll be a press probably right here next to it. Um, the alternative might be to turn it like this, and you know, let's see how that looks. I mean, that is more or less zero clearance there. Those open far enough to be accessed in that location.
So what we want to do is see what our working space looks like. And what I'm really questioning is, yeah, I can get back here if I had to. I could do it while the press was running. Um, I need to take some length off this because this actually can come this way a little bit. But it's good clearance-wise. This is a little tight, but like I wouldn't want to go in here while this is running. That's too close for me. It needs to actually be a lot further. So let's see. So this is okay. I, I could come in here while this is running. That's a little tight, but I don't need to do anything while it's running back there. And then this feels good here. So I think this is workable. Um, and at the moment, I'm not going to do anything other than push all this stuff out of the way. So. having this on skids that are pallet high is it's just very easy to move it around. Especially the Chandler and Price because it's small. So in my quest to make more space, this is just going to have to go in here temporarily. It'll work. And that gives me room for what needs to happen over here. So, I got some decisions to make, and in the meanwhile, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Um, if I remember correctly, this is a 18 by 24 exposure unit. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll get to that later. It'll handle everything that I'll ever do on these presses.